This is Cameron Chai from Amazon.com and I was bringing to Christian Wishern from NanoFocus and he's going to show us their U-Scan Explorer. Okay. So, um, this is NanoFocus's newest entry into the surface metrology solutions market and what this system is, it's an optical surface profilometer. System consists of two confocal white light aberration sensors powered by LEDs and a 200 millimeter and a 150 millimeter motorized stage. And it's a, again, a surface profilometer. So what we're actually doing is if we start, we're gonna measure this card right now and you'll see the card is being scanned back and forth underneath the sensor. And what we're collecting while that is running is we're collecting surface height information. And if we look over here at the monitor, we can actually see the surface profiles being collected real time. So the, one of the main app or some of the main applications for this is what we're doing now is we're measuring some paper. Different grades of paper will have different surface roughnesses and this will determine the price point of that paper or whether the paper is being built according to the, or being produced according to the company's specifications. So we have quality control applications, production uh, control applications, in the paper industry, but we also have uh, applications in automotive. We have applications in the forensic industry. Um, the forensic industry, a great application there that everybody knows about is um, bullet mark tracing. So we can, we actually have a data, or customers of ours have a database of individual uh, bullet markings. They use our system to measure a bullet that is suspected in a crime, and they can track that bullet back to a specific gun that they have in their database is uh, another application. Um, another very common application of this technology is uh, in automotive. Um, surface finish on automotive panels, on body panels, um, have to meet very, very exact roughness specifications for paintability and appearance. Um, we help the automotive manufacturers hit those specifications that they need. What we've now, now that the measurement has been completed, what we're looking at here is we're actually looking at a 3D view of that paper that we just scanned. So we're looking at a 3D measurement. It's a, a low resolution measurement just for an example here, but we have a 3D view so we can see high spots here in white are the high spots, this is a blue, this is a pocket on the surface. So we actually have a real surface topography. And what the manufacturer would do is they would, there are some algorithms that we use to quantify numerically. We can give them a number that says, okay, this paper is in spec or out of spec. Now, regarding the system itself, um, very important with these systems are lateral resolution, vertical resolution, and speed. We have a lateral resolution on these systems of up to two microns. So two micron lateral spacing is an excellent resolution. And vertical resolution, our best vertical resolution is 10 nanometers. So it's really, we're in the, in the, nano, in the nano region for our vertical measurements. So very high resolution systems and very fast as well. With 30 millimeter per second stages, we can measure, as we just performed a measurement in, that was a 42 seconds for a measurement of that five by five millimeter area of paper. So it's, uh, they're also quite quick systems. Um, it's a, it, we provide it as a turnkey system, so you collect the data, and we also provide the software to perform the analysis of the data once you have collected it. We provide a complete solution to our- And what sort of vertical resolution do you have? I mean, what sort of vertical range do you have? Excellent question, excellent question. What I have here uh, on the system right now is I have two different sensors. One sensor has one millimeter of vertical range, that we can measure, so that's this sensor here. And then next to that, I have another sensor that I can drop down into place. This sensor has a 400 micron vertical range and, a, and higher resolution. We also have a third sensor that's not mounted now, but can be quickly changed out. It takes about five minutes to change it out. It has um, three, uh, three millimeters of vertical range. This in the middle, what this section here is, that's not a sensor, but if we go back to the measurement software, that is actually a, that's a real-time camera. So using my stage controls, I can, it's an autofocus camera. I can set my measurement points using the camera. That's what, it, what this is for. So I can actually set my, oops, let me go back this way. 
So you could effectively locate an imperfection and then right and then, and then zoom in on it. Exactly, exactly. That's what we use this system for. That's what the camera is for. Um, that's the system in a nutshell. Is there any other specific questions that I didn't uh, catch for you? Well, that's. If anybody's got any other questions, they could obviously go to your website to get the answers, and your Absolutely. website would be uh, www.nanofocus.com. All right, Christian, thanks very much for telling us about the U Scan Explorer. You're very welcome. Thanks so much.